Okay, we're going to try this um, pattern, or Tangle It Pattern Club on Facebook and um, over at patterncollections.com. We're doing a daily pattern. This one is called Lichen or Lichen. Um, I'm just going to give this a go. I've not done this particular one. I've done one similar. We've already done a grid pattern that's very much like this on that patterns uh, grid pattern video. But we're going to give this a go and see if we can make a pattern, a tile, for the challenge. Um, it appears that you start with pencil grid, so you get rid of the grid when you're done. So I'm going to just quickly do a quick quick non square pencil grid doesn't really make any difference yeah we're gonna go like that something like that alright because I'm gonna erase it anyway so it doesn't make any difference let me make sure I have my eraser next to me so that I have it ready to go alright eraser alright so and we're going to do this. It goes like that and like that. And then you skip one and you do that and that. And then you do that and that. And then you're doing a skipping pattern so it's every other one. And then you skip and so it's this one and this one and you skip that one so it's this one and that one. Yeah? I think so. So half of that one. So it's more of an OG grid, I believe, rather than a I don't know, it's kinda hard to kinda hard to figure it out. Ready then. So then in here we go this way and this way and here we go this way and that way and I think I'll put one going this way same over here and then this one goes this way and that way and I'm going to finish off these sides on this end yeah? yeah that way and this way and that way and that way and that way okay sorry I made you wiggle let's get rid of the grid so it's not distracting me. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of my border too. That's distracting me. I can always put it back in at the end if I want. Okay. So within that we do uh, auras. Okay. And then this 
direction. like it needs, I don't know, it needs something. It's it's the grit pattern and it's sort of organic. But it's gonna need something. I'm not sure what yet. Maybe a little mooka. I haven't done mooka in a while. Maybe I'll put some mooka with this. I don't know why Mooka came to mind all of a sudden because it just doesn't seem like it's the type of tangle that Mooka goes with, but you know, it has come to mind for a reason. I always figure that as I'm drawing, if a particular pattern comes to mind for a reason, it's because the tile is Speaking to me. Going three and three, and I'm going to put a circle right there. And I think in those orbs, they're going to be colored in everything except for a little highlight. I think that's what those want. Like that. Yeah, I think that's what those want. Have a little highlight somewhere in there. And color those in. Okay. I'm not bigger than others. That's okay. Not much to say today. That's okay too. I'm not really, this one's not really a lesson. This one's more of a just doing it on camera. We'll see what comes out. And if you guys learn something from it, great. And if not, that's okay. It wasn't really meant as a lesson anyway. So this is this pattern, what is it called? Lichen, L-I-C-H-E-N. Apparently it was developed with some sort of fungus in mind. Yeah? I've never seen a fungus look like this before, but, you know. There are lots of places in the world I've never been and lots of things I've never seen, so it is entirely possible. There is a fungus that looks something like this. All right, that looks good. And it and it and it's saying that I have to do muka with it, so we're gonna do some mukas attached like that. I think that's what I am it's telling me to do. It's telling me to do Mooka. Maybe maybe my my dear friend Mildred is is watching over me today. She was the Mooka Maven. Mooka was her pattern. It just it spoke to her. It was it was her identity in the Zentangle community. And I miss her. I really do. So perhaps Mildred is speaking to me through this tangle. 
and that would be very cool. Muka is a pattern where you don't you don't lift your pen. You just do this really neat sort of a swirl thing. You can do them over and above each other. You can overlap. And you'll do an overlapping one here. Oh, that one really didn't come out the way I anticipated, but maybe if I do another one here, it will it will help ground that one. That's not so bad. Okay. Nice big loopy muka. And one here, I think. It's telling me to go right. Yep. That looks good. Now we'll shade that puppy. Where's my pencil? Alright. Oh. Oh, I want to shade that. I think I want to do this. Around each one of these sort of eyeball like shapes. I don't know what they are. Very interesting. I think I want I want them to do that. Oops, too much pencil. Always remember you can take off pencil, it's unwanted. I do them there, that will make these corners right here kind of dark because that's where they're all coming together and that's, I think I like that. my mukas I like to have a little bit of shadow right there and then just where they overlap on if they're overlapping. A little bit right give them some depth. It doesn't take much. It just takes a tiny little bit of pencil. Just in the right spots. Just a little outside the lines here. Right there. Okay. Right there, right there. Right there. There at the bottom. This one overlaps that one. And that one overlaps that one. Do a little bit of something, something. Alright, let's blend that. See what I got. This might not be the most exciting video ever because I'm not teaching. 
So since I'm not teaching, I'm not talking. Oops. I think I want the insides of all of them. So I gotta go this way. I've missed one. might be one to put music behind. I don't know. That looks pretty good. Got a little bit of pencil where I didn't want it on the outside of that. Fix that. Alright, I like it. Let's give that guy a signature. And I'm done.